Hi there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play a piano accompaniment of Ilo Milo by Billie Eilish. This has been a highly requested one. I have made the sheet music for the arrangement of this piano accompaniment, um, so I've left a link to where you can access that below. I've also made the chords and lyrics, so that's listed below as well. So this one's in the key of C minor. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of C minor. So the chords and melody are formed using those notes. So it's only three chords throughout the entire song, but we're not going to be necessarily playing chords. Um, as you heard in the preview, we're going to be playing some melody lines and some just like bass line -y type thing in the left hand as well as playing chords. This is my arrangement of the piano accompaniment and I've kind of based it a little bit off um, what he plays um, for Billie Eilish live. So here is middle C for reference, so if, if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano, just so you know what sort of range I'm playing in. The song goes pretty much straight into, after there's like, um, like a drum effect, it goes straight into the verse. We've kind of got this offbeat, so syncopated, synth sounds like a bang, 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 bang. So it kind of sounds like a pingy sound, but it's the note there is an F, and then the chord that's formed around that is an F minor first inversion, so it's A flat, C, and F, and it's going 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and, and then we have this C minor position, so G, C, and E flat. So it's gonna go one, and two, and three, and four, and changes to G, one, and two, and three, and four, and. So that's the first bit. Told you not to worry. Now we go to G minor, so it's G, B flat and D. Remember not to get. So that's the first bit and I've chosen not to do any left hand there, so it's just the right hand chord. So I'll do that again. Told you not to worry. So now this is where we've got this cool. Now the left hand does come in and the left hand is going to switch and play those chords now. So the first F minor chord we had, but in around middle C. And then the right hand, still playing off beat, the right hand's playing F, A flat, C, E, F. So you could use the fingers, assign each note a finger, so. Or you could go, go under to C, if you have smaller hands. So together that fits like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then it changes to this C minor position so G, C, E flat, and the right hand is going to play C, E flat, G, B, C. So. So I'll do that a little bit again. Remember not to get too close to stars. And that's the end of the verse. So I'll just play all of that through from the beginning. 
Hi there, just quickly before we continue, if you are enjoying the video so far, please consider hitting that like button and say hi in the comments section below. If you're brand new here, please consider subscribing, you know where the button is, and make sure to hit that notifications bell so you're notified every time I upload a new tutorial and you can be the first to learn. I've left a load of playlists in the description as well to get you started. I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorial and let's continue. Told you not to worry But maybe it's a lie Honey, what's your hurry? Won't you stay inside? Remember not to get too close to stars They're never gonna give you love like us And now we're into the chorus So where'd you go? I should know but it's cold So the left hand keeps playing that C off beat chord and the right hand is going to go C, G, E flat, C, G, E flat, C, G, E flat, C, G, E flat. So that fits together like this. Where'd you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't. And then we're going to change to G minor in the left hand and the right hand's gonna change, and the right hand is gonna play B flat, G, D, B flat, G, D, B flat, A flat, G, D. And that fits together like this. I'll just do all of that bit. Where'd you go? I should know, but it's cold. And I don't wanna be lonely, so show me the way home. And then you're gonna just play either a single F or octaves, and then the right hand goes back to playing those chords. to the hurry I'm worried so you're gonna play this again but just holding down the C in the left hand and then change it to a G so like this hurry, I'm worried. the world's a little and then the verse comes in so I'm going to play all of that first chorus all the way through now. Where'd you go? I should know, but it's cold. And I don't want to be lonely, so show me the way home. I can lose another life. carry on so um, the right hand is going to carry on playing what it did before so those same chords it's the first verse but then we can if you want to we can add some left hand root notes in there as well so the world's a little blurry or maybe it's my eyes the friends I've had to bury So there's a break there, and then we've got this again. Um, and you can just hold notes down if you want to make it easier in the left hand. So, so an F. 
or you could try if you can stretch octaves playing like this said I couldn't love someone cause again you can keep uh, rocking the left hand so where'd you go I should know but it's gone then I don't change it to G wanna be lonely so tell me you come home and now we've got the this chord again with the F's So the bridge, the chords are on top, and I'm just going to carry on. I try not to upset you, let you rescue me the day I met you. I just wanted to protect you. And I will never get to. in sections that we have already done and then it's back into Hand's gonna come up and play the C minor, and it's gonna and we're into the. Where'd you go? I should know, but it's cold and I don't wanna be lonely. I was hoping you come home. And then we've got this again. So you just hold that F down. play that C and we play this again and then a B flat instead and that's how it ends so it's kind of the same like a couple of ideas um, that have been repeated all throughout the song I'm gonna do a full run through now
So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.